Hello, this is Mrs. Coffey. We're going to do an experiment today about surface color and the effect on temperature change. Uh, so you will need your Kami recording sheet for this experiment uh, called surface color and effect on temperature change. And our question we're going to be talking about today is which surface absorbs more energy, a light surface or a dark surface? And we're going to do the research by reading the article from NASA and we're going to read the think about this and probing further section of the article before we actually do the experiment. And then we're going to form a hypothesis. Remember, this is your educated guess or a prediction of what you think is going to happen. You can look at my example, but remember, sometimes I try to trick you by purposefully doing a prediction that ends up being wrong. Sometimes I write the right one. Sometimes I write the wrong results. So I wrote, if I put cups covered in black and white paper in the sun, I think the white cup will heat up faster because the light color absorbs heat better than the dark color. So what I mean by that is I'm going to have two different um, cups that have uh, foam lids and they have thermometers sticking out of them. And then we're going to use this heat lamp as our sunlight and shine it on the cups and we're going to find out which one will heat up faster. So you need to predict which cup you think is going to heat up faster when it's exposed to, we're going to say it's sunlight, but to the heat lamp. So these are the materials we're going to be using today. We have two large styrofoam cups, two foam caps, two thermometers, a sheet of dark construction paper, a sheet of light construction paper, tape, scissors, and a heat lamp. And I've already assembled the cups so I have one that has, it's just a regular styrofoam cup from Zaxby's and I've made a cover for it for the outside of it so it would be covered in um, black paper. And then this is just a piece of like foam that you would use for padding for chairs. And I st made a slit in it so I could put my thermometer in. So we're checking the air temperature inside of the cup. Okay, and then the same thing with the white. I just covered the cup in white paper, like so, with tape and construction paper. Okay, so then it says what we're gonna do first is place the heat lamp about six inches from the containers, and I did do that. I've got my thermometer, and it's about six inches away from the and then we're going to make sure it's plugged in and it is so let me make sure the heat lamp's working and it is all right so next we're going to be recording the temperature in the cups so we're going to start at zero minutes when the lamp is not on so we're going to record the temperature of the cup with the large with the dark paper and the cup with the light paper. And you can see that I also um, labeled the supplies in the experiment. So I've got the cap with the slit, I have the thermometer, the light paper, foam cup, heat lamp, and the dark paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature for both of these cups. So let's look at black one first. So it is 22 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to write that here. And then I'm going to check the temperature of the white cup. So it is the same starting point, 22 degrees Celsius. So on your recording sheet, I want you to make sure that you've written the starting temperature for the cup with the dark paper and the starting temperature for the cup with the light paper. They both have started out the same at 22 degrees Celsius. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a timer and I'm going to set it for five minutes. 
So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm also gonna be turning on our heat lamp. And we're gonna shine the sun at both of our cups for five minutes. So timer's on. And then we're gonna come back and measure the temperature after five minutes. So I am going to pause my video so that you don't have to sit here watching me for five minutes. 